Hi everyone, I'm Alison Rowley, Digital Editor at Creative Head Magazine, and today I'm going to be talking to Stephanie Derbyshire, one of our My Trend Vision Spotlight competitors. Stephanie's going to be telling me a little bit more about how her preparation for the Trend Vision final has been going, and just how she's found competing in 2020. Joining Stephanie will be Trevor from Tony and Guy. He'll be providing some insight into what the competition, as well as Stephanie finalising, means to the salon group as a whole, and how year after year, Trend Vision impacts the business. Let's go catch up with them now. How has your preparation been for the final been going? Um, so yeah, really good. Obviously we came back to the salon and it was really, really busy. Um, and it was just a case of trying to be organized and get, um, first of all, get my model sorted, which um, I found her on Instagram. I just loved her look and I thought it would be, um, she would be a great model to sort of change up what she was looking like already um, and just elevate the whole look of her. So um, I found her first on Instagram and then it was just a case of finding inspiration of what I wanted to do, um, which I use Pinterest a lot for. So just in my spare time, just looking through that and getting ideas for the, for the shoot. I can see you've got your mood board in the background there. What kind of things played into it? What caught your eye and what have you incorporated into the look? Um, I think what I wanted to do was really elevate my first picture that I, that I did for the competition. So the entry picture, um, the model had um, short ginger hair. I just wanted to change it up, make it a lot stronger. So some of the inspiration has been a little bit similar. And then I've just taken inspiration from more um, an illustrator that I, I absolutely love. And also a picture of Tilda Simpson by Tim Walker. Um, just keeping all the colours quite similar. We're just taking it to that next level, making it stronger, making the cut um, stronger as well for, for the final look. So my sort of hero products for this was definitely Colour Fresh and um, Create. It just allowed me to take my inspiration, which was from my illustrators, to be really artistic and look to use a lot of freehand. And it just meant that I could use the colours in this way and just sort of like painting the colours on and working with them however I felt look best for the model. So yes, definitely, definitely Colour Fresh and um, Create. And did you stick to the sort of orangey warm palette as well with the tones that you picked? So I've worked with, yeah, um, definitely quite um, orange colour to go with, but I've also worked in some of like the nudist pink um, and some of um, yellow tones as well, just to bring all those kind of colours together. Hey, did you enjoy adapting to the kind of different um, demands that each of the submissions had this year? Yeah, so obviously last year was amazing. Um, you know, building up to the final is, is really exciting. Getting your team together and all going down to, um, to London together and, and working as a team is, is the complete buzz of it. But this year obviously has been very different. But I think the main thing is I'm so thankful to Wella um, to continue the competition, you know, and just to give us new, fresh ideas to work on. So for me, it was a challenge because obviously it was a little bit different this year. We had to film ourselves for the final. But um, I think that's what makes it exciting. And it's just really good to give us another opportunity to be creative and to keep us going through this time where it's a little bit, a bit more difficult. Great. And Trevor, Steph mentioned there the sort of the creativity that participating in Trend Vision stokes in um, people. Do you find that year on year when people do enter, it does sort of bring these extra creative ideas into the salon and did you see that demonstrated this year when you were obviously across the industry had this enforced period where people were not um, in their usual environment and weren't together? Oh, it's, it's always fantastic to see um, members of staff, uh, especially staff working on, on competitions like this. It does give a great buzz to the salon. Uh, it's fantastic for our social media. Uh, it's great for our clientele to see that we're being current um, keeping up to date with what we do, and especially if we win. <laughs> it's always an extra buzz. So yeah, we, we love it. We love it in the summer. All the members of staff love it as well. It's, it, they're proud of it. Not everybody wants to enter competitions, but if we have members of staff that show an interest and have a talent, then we do try to push them towards something like this. I mean, Steph's the main uh, instigator and leader in this department she's fantastic at it and she's got great success so Steph normally encourages different people gets teams together to whoever wants to work on on competitions like assistants or maybe a, a member of staff and she encourages them she helps them uh, find models because the models apply everything she helps them with the photography makeup 
how to style them and what to look for within competition. So yeah, yeah, it's just good at it. And that's, you know, we've, we've got great success as well from it. On the business front, have you found that it's impacted perhaps, Steph, your column um, and also just interest generally around um, the salons of the, the notoriety of um, finalising and winning um, titles in the competition? Yes, it does. It does make an impact um, on social media and when clients uh, search for our salons um, or our salon. They will look up things like this, and, and when they go online to see who they want to cut the hair, and they obviously pick out people that are, that are current and happening. So it does have an impact on the business. Uh, it has an impact on uh, staff that we find as well, because you get a lot of people want to come and work for you because it's a happening salon. If you weren't doing any competitions, then you'd be just a bit of a nine till five. So it's important that there's exciting things going on within the salon. So it does have an impact, it does go back to the clientele. I think um, what I've taken away from this year is that obviously even in sort of challenging times, for me personally, as long as I'm being creative or there's something to look forward to creatively, um, it just keeps me going and it you know keeps that positivity. Obviously Creative Head have been following my journey throughout um, this competition and that really kept me going, um, especially during lockdown because it's like, oh, I've got to do another video, I've got to do another video for this and it, it was great, you know, um, and it just, like I said, keeps positivity going and keeps that creativity, which is great for me. And I touched upon it there. Do you think, regardless of the outcome, that the, the cogs are already turning, you're thinking about next year as well, that fingers crossed, maybe we'll be uh, back in sort of the, the spectacle and the, the togetherness of TVA. Is that something that you think you want to be a part of? Yeah, of course. Um, Obviously, for me, as soon as I do one shoot, I'm on to the next one straight away, which is a bit weird, but I'll do one and I'll be like, oh, that was, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, what are we doing next? So it's always on to the next thing. Um, I don't probably take a read on that, which maybe sometimes I should, but I think it's just exciting to move forward and, and keep going with that. So especially, obviously, you know, fingers crossed if next year was a live final again, that's, that would be amazing um, to have that sort of atmosphere back. So yeah, definitely. And on that front, Trevor, I assume that it's going to be the same within the salon, that Steph making it this far potentially further will be used as um, encouragement. And I'm sure you're thinking of 2021 as we come to the end of the year, that it's sort of firmly in your calendar as something that people will be encouraged to enter. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's lovely to win, but it's regardless of that, it's still all the work's being done. Uh, so all the creativity is already there, the photography is being done, the, the, the styling, the makeup, the ideas. So whether you win or you don't win, you've still got the buzz from it. So yeah, it's, it's fantastic. What is your message for Steph as she goes and uh, comes into this final stage of this year's competition? What do you want to say to her? I think I uh, wish you all the best. Which I'm very confident actually, I think she'll do really well. Um, she works fabulous. So she's very talented and I think in difficult times it brings out even more creativity. So, you know, I wish you all the best and, and all the best for, the, for all the members of staff and so on. And, you know, good luck. <laughs>